Okay, we're westbound on 7th Standard Road. It's a little highway that I like between Interstate 99 or Highway 99 and Interstate 5. It's a pretty smooth, hardly any stoplights, good sail between the two highways. how much water California has got. Awesome. We are right in the thick of it. The farming community in California. And I'm not 100% sure, but I would say those are almond trees to the left of me right here. Or us, since you're right shotgun. I know they do grow a lot of almonds around here. I don't know what that grass is over there to the right. Maybe onions? I don't know. Anyway. Glad to see California getting some water out here. A few years ago, this place was a dust bowl. now. Last night, I was going through the border, Arizona and California. So I went to the agricultural inspection and you gotta hand them your BOL. There's bikes sitting on the side of the road here, so I'm gonna give them plenty of room. Guys, yeah, just stay put. They'll be doing no moving. Yeah, nice. There's some pieces of the bike. Looks like we just went over. Oh, I wonder if somebody hit them. I didn't see any cars though. But anyway, I went through the agricultural, here comes the cop. Is that a cop? It sure is. Right there, to the left, right there. Sheriff. He's headed over there to them bikes. No lights yet. I'm looking in my mirror to see when he lights them up. There they go. Got them lit down. Okay, so I, I go through the agricultural station and the guy looks at my BOL and he's like, hey, hey, to another uh, officer there. I'm like, what's the big deal? I told you it's recycling. Go ahead and pull over here to the left. Really? You serious? All right, I'm gonna pull over there get out of my truck. Uh, what's going on? You need to open your doors. I, go, I know, I told the dude I had plastic. It's recycling. Yeah, it's PET. It's marked on your bill of lading. I go, yeah, so what? Open the doors. Yep, there it is. Crushed bales of recyclable plastic bottles and stuff. I didn't know this, but I do now. You have to fill out a form when you bring that recycled in. Because what people were doing, and it's an idea I had a long time ago, I just never acted on it. And that was to, because I'm from Colorado, and from California, I left a long time ago though, because I couldn't handle it. Um, getting a bunch of uh, recycled bottles from Colorado where they're free and take them over to California and collect money for them. <laughs> like I said, it was a pretty good idea, but I never acted on it. Well, apparently people were. 
to the tune of semi loads. And that is now why they Lease it, if you will. The, you have to fill out that form, and if you take it to the recycler, they won't take it unless you have that form that you can only get at a border checkpoint at an ag station, agriculture. So, if any of you guys ever hauling plastic bottles or recycling, they had aluminum on there. They had some other things. And I even told the gal there, I'm like, you know, I never thought plastic would be an issue at the border, at the check agricultural checkpoint. I go, I brought hay in before, and I thought for sure that hay would be subject to it, but it's not. The reason they have the agricultural checkpoint fruits and vegetables. Like when I'd go through there with my kids, they're like, do you have any fruits and vegetables? And I have three kids that were in the car with me at the time and I'm like, three heads of cabbage. So they, uh, and of course I was talking about my kids. <laughs> they say, go ahead and go through, got a little chuckle out of the guy. But they don't want invasive species coming in wreaking havoc on California's agricultural economy, because it is huge. But anyway, now you know the reason they did that, like I said, because I asked her, I go, oh, it makes sense to me now. People were cashing in. And I told her, I go, I thought the bottles had to be full, but not, not full, but I mean, in, like if you just emptied it, emptied it, not crushed. She goes, no, I'll take them that way too, by weight. I'm like, wow. You can make some bank on doing that. She said that they uh, couldn't figure out why their money for the refund pay a, a nickel or a dime to recycle so if you buy a 24 pack of water you're going to pay five cents a bottle you get that back when you return the bottle I've never returned any bottles I don't even know where the hell I would do it I do know I don't buy water in California anymore unless I absolutely have to so I don't have to pay that CRV I think it's a cash recyclable value or something to that effect, I don't know. But so on a 24 pack, if it was a nickel, it would be a dollar twenty extra. And she said the money just started disappearing. These guys coming in and taking 10 grand out <laughs> with a U-Haul full of recyclables. That's when they made a law, and that's why I had to go through the process last night because of that scam. And I actually thought about doing a real long time ago, but I'm not a scammer. I do have a scammer's brain sometimes, but. I like freedom. I don't need to be in jail. Integrity is doing the right thing, even when no one is looking. So that right there in front of us is Interstate 5. We'll be going northbound. See that blue truck there, the blue trailer? Amazon trailer. This year, and just a tiny part of last year, I have noticed more and more and more Amazon trailers. Flowering trees look pretty cool. I 
should yell out in the sky, hey, there's almond trees. He'd probably look at me and go, are you really that stu 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 stupid? Listen here, sir, I'm not from here. Yeah, hey, uh, let's go up there, huh? Take five all the way up. Go to the Yukon. Yellow Knife. Then the Fairbanks. Now, they won't let me do that, though. Not in the semi. Because I had a DUI when I was 21 or 22. I got pulled over, me and a buddy went shooting some pool. They got pulled over after we were leaving. He asked me how much I had to drink. I only had like three or four beers for a certain amount of time. He's like, all right, stand back here. Wait for me. I was standing back with my car. And he's like, can I have a cigarette? He goes, nope, just wait. I'm like, all right. And he took forever. I think he did it on purpose, though. I was young and dumb. I grabbed a cigarette, I lit it up. Boom! He gets out of his car. You're in arrest for DUI. Alright. It's like 1.0 or something like that. Just just over, but I was over DUI. But apparently if you've ever had a DUI, you're going to watch it. My speed. You cannot go into Canada as a CMV driver, commercial motor vehicle driver. Even if it was 30 years ago. Six westbound. This kind of looks like Oklahoma or Texas, Texas. This is uh, we are about three or four miles west of Lost Hills, California. We're gonna go to Paso Robles. Catch the 101 north to Salinas. We will be going to James Dean, well I should say this another way, we are going through the James Dean Memorial intersection where he was killed many moons ago. still be light enough to capture the footage. The horizon looks pretty awesome out there, huh? <laughs> I will see you at the junction. Okay, so we are coming up on the intersection where old James Dean left this planet. You can see down there, I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but there's flashing lights down there. It kind of looks like a Y intersection. This one is like one highway and that one I guess would be at a 
45 degree. You can you can change the highways without stopping, provided it's clear. Well, he was coming down this highway the same way we are traveling now. And he was in that badass little Porsche, low to the ground. Silver. Blended in with the highway, almost like a concrete camo or a highway camo. The old boy was in that big old heavy ass steel American made lead sled. Apparently didn't see him coming. I'm pretty sure James Dean was pushing the speed like I do, or testing the limits. Um, and he's coming to the intersection like we're doing right now. I hope nobody else tries to do the same damn thing. Like right about here, when he hit and sent his car off to the right right there, we just passed it. There's a little bit of markers on the highway, on the fence, where he ended up. And I don't know if he died right here or, or if he died on the way to the hospital. read up on it one time when I, the first time I came through here, I was like, wow. But it's getting dark, too dark to see. The time is 7.07 .07 Mountain Standard Time, 6.07 Pacific Liberal Time. Temperature is 41 degrees, our speed is 54 mile per hour. hours and 58 minutes left of our driving out of a total time of 8 hours and 20 minutes available and 2 hours and 20 minutes until I am forced to take a 30 minute Obama break but we should be to Salinas or Salinas um, before that 2.20 Open. I don't know when we got here. I'm doing 53, and I'm catching up to this guy. I've got plenty of throttle left. You hear that? So I shouldn't really be catching him, even if he was at 80,000 pounds. It's a little bit of a grade, but not much. Anyway, sounds like I'm just rambling and bitching and complaining. <laughs> Until the next time, y'all have a good day or good evening. Love one another, chase your dreams. It's all about you making it happen. Until the next time, peace.